Hi, I'm Stacey Hunnicke and I'm a registered veterinary technician. And we thought for Dog Bite Prevention Week, it would be valuable to learn how to read dog body language to keep your family safe. So it's important to know that any breed has the ability to bite, but we're going to first look at this Whippet. This Whippet is nervous and it wants to be left alone. I can tell this because, as you can see, the tail is tucked underneath and between its legs. Her back is hunched, her ears are down and back, the mouth is closed, and the dog really just looks worried. This dog wants to be left alone. Let's look at this little chihuahua. A lot of little dogs exhibit these behaviors. The one I'm noticing here is the paw lift. This is a sign that they're pulling away from you, they want to be left alone, this dog's also showing the closed mouth, the ears are down and back, and you can see a tiny bit of the white of the eye. You shouldn't actually be able to see the white of a dog's eye, so when it is exhibiting this behavior, it's telling you that it's nervous, it's uncomfortable, and it wants to be left alone. This blue healer is exhibiting a lot of signs that it is uncomfortable and wants to be left alone. The licking and chewing is evidence that it's very uncomfortable. Also yawning is another sign dogs show that they want to be left alone. Again, it's showing the white of its eye. Its ears are back and down. And this dog is in a laying down position so it may feel more uncomfortable than if it were standing or sitting. Dogs that are laying down that are quickly approached by children can't get up and get away as quickly as they might want to. As an adult, if you see dogs exhibiting this behavior, you should intervene, move the dog to a kid-free area, and provide them with a toy to keep them busy. So in summary, I hope you learned how to understand what your dog is trying to tell you and that you'll have great, safe interactions with your family from now on.